Hey YouTube, what's going on? Uh, today I'm going to be unboxing the Black Series 6 inch Luke Skywalker X34 Landspeeder. Uh, this is the Landspeeder from A New Hope. Uh, this is the Landspeeder that gets hijacked from the Sand People. And this is the Landspeeder that he sells before he leaves on his great adventure um, throughout the series of Star Wars. Uh, now this Landspeeder is pretty good scale. It's the 6 inch scale and it's easy to display. I mean, yes, it's large, but you still have some shelf space when you compare it to other larger Black Series like the TIE Fighter from Force Awakens. Now, that thing is just too big. I think vehicles like this are perfect. So, let's go ahead and unbox it. Uh, well, let's take a look at some of the features here. Uh, much like Ray Speeder, there's a lot of compartments that sh open up, such as the engine compartments. Um... You do get a Luke Skywalker figure that comes with the nice cloak that you see on the deleted scenes um, before, I believe, he's staring off into space and he has this nice cloak. Uh, you don't see that in New Hope, but it is in the deleted scenes when the Blu-rays were released. Uh, the description on the back states that Luke Skywalker owned one of these nondescript but speedy land speeders racing the sand pocket and sun-faded craft across the desert between the Lars homestead and outposts such as Tossi Station and Anchorhead. So just a quick description of it. <clears throat> All right, there it is. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what this bad boy looks like. Now I knew this one was coming out. Now I knew Ray's speeder was coming out, but I didn't know they were doing the, the Luke one. So I was pretty excited when I saw it. Uh, availability of this, uh, I do know that as I said before, when I did Force Friday on, on Toys R Us, they didn't have anything on my Toys R Us. They had one of these, so I grabbed it. Uh, I found the other speeder, at or Ray speeder, at uh, Best Buy, and I saw a lot of the Luke speeders. So if you're looking for this, you may want to check your Best Buy. They do have a small collectible area, and that might be a good spot to find it. Alright, so let's first, let's take a look at our Luke Skywalker. Six inch, six inch figure here that comes with it. Let's see, you do get the hat. Kind of like a bucket hat. Uh, he does come with his binoculars that you see him looking through. Um, that long sniper, I like to call it like a sniper musket rifle, whatever it was. Um, and he does come with a lightsaber, which is weird. But I guess, you know, he does get it, and he has the speeder still because uh, Obi-Wan gives it to him, and it's hobble. All right, and there's the, it is a soft goods. I'm like that they're bringing more soft goods back in the mix. Um, what I like to do in these soft goods, I'm pretty sure you guys know about it, but see how they're very puffy? Uh, to get it to kind of form to his body, what you do is you soak it in water, and then put it back on the figure, and it'll drape down on him. And it'll stay snug to his body. Uh, I might do a quick video just to see how that looks. Uh, I did that to a few figures. Uh, I did that to actually Luke that came with this outfit, the under. Because it's pretty much, I believe, a repack of the Luke Skywalker 6-inch. Uh, you just get this robe and accessories. But I did that to him and he looks amazing. And I also did it to Palpatine 6-inch. Uh, I wetted it, soaked it, let it dry, and it's more form-fitting now. So anyways, uh, good detail. Pretty sure it's a repack. In fact, I'll grab that one. Take a look at the face sculpt. Let's take a look at the face sculpt. And the pre oh, no, it's different. This looks hair. Let's see. I get the focus here. This is the previous 6-inch Luke, and this is the Luke that you get with the 6-inch Black Series Landspeeder. Hair color is way different. The face sculpt is way different. So that's interesting. Not a repack. I take that back. This is a totally new sculpt. Hair color is a lot more brown, not as blonde. Face sculpt is different. Uh, even the color of the pants are different. Interesting. You can, there's a little bit of a difference. Interesting. Okay, so not a repack, guys. It is a totally brand new sculpt. All right. Let's see. 
again, accessories were you get the, the little hat, the goggles on top. You get uh, those little binoculars. Pretty good detail. All right. Then you get his uh, lightsaber. I noticed that this lightsaber's blue tint to it. It's really light blue. And that's cool because in the New Hope, it is super light. And there's that long sniper musket rifle that he has. All right, so that's the figure, brand new sculpt apparently. And uh, let's take a look at the, the speeder itself. Let's get it unboxed here. Looks like it has some of those uh, rubber bands that are holding it in place. And some pretty good spots. Actually, I might get the scissors for this one. That way I don't scratch it. Uh, it does come in... It has one piece to put on, which is the back fin. The back fin, which pretty much just snaps in. I'm assuming. Slides in, actually. Right there. Alright. Looks great already. So let's take a quick peek at this. Not too much assembly. Alright, so here is the land speeder. Great detail in the cockpit. Focus in there. Great detail. Uh, let's see the, the steering wheel does not move. Uh, I didn't realize there was like a a stick shift. <laughs> it's, a, it's a six speed. Just playing. Um, there's no graphics on these. Alright, we'll view the engine here now. This, I believe, does pop up in showing the interior part of the engine. Lots of detail. Same detail on top of this part. It appears that this does move here. There's the dent. Must have ran over a few Tuscan Raiders or something in its past. The bottom is pretty plain. I believe the engine is exposed on this side. Much like the movie. I believe this back piece opens as well to expose another piece of the engine or back engine, I believe. Uh, let's see, does the same opposite side open? Yeah. Oh, that's like a, a trunk, not much trunk space. Alright, so three compartments, sides, now I believe this is the same thing that it looked like when the sand people were going through it, they had all the sides popped out. Uh, much like race speeder, it does come with a stand, let's get that out of here. Uh, invisible stand too, so that's cool, it does look like it's floating. This pushes in on the bottom. Let's see. It fits very snug. Alright, so it does give it that floating effect, which is cool. Alright, let's move her over here. Very nice piece. Alright, let's get Luke in there. Let's see how well he fits. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the, if he's in here, the cape kind of gets in the way. And I have to go back and look at the film and see if he's actually wearing this when he's in the speeder. See, when he has his cape on, you don't see any of his hands or anything, so that's kind of weird. 
And obviously you can lift it out of the cape, but it kind of hides all the detail. So to me, I would have sold it without the cape. That's just me. What do you guys think? No cape. Uh, now he does in the movie set this long musket rifle on the side and it does have a little clip to put that on there. So that's cool. All right, that is pretty much it. Uh, I believe there's no other functions or features. Oh wait, I almost forgot. It does come with a glass visor. I was like, isn't there a front cockpit visor on this? And there indeed is. There we go, that looks better. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so this does clip in. There we go. Now we got that glass bubble. All right, so there we go. Got that nice glass bubble. Almost forgot to put that on there. It's actually easier to show the inside. Now I want to take his little cape off. Throw him in there. See if that actually does cover his face. Now once you put that visor on there, it is a little, little snug fit for Luke in there. Actually, I'm not sure that visor really does much of anything. Doesn't really cover the face, the visor. The head still sticks out of the visor. I'm not sure if he's all the way in there though. Let's try that. Oh, he's in there. Yeah, so your hair is still blowing in the wind, even with this on there. It's protecting more of your chest. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is the quick review. This is uh, Luke Skywalker's Land Speeder, 6 inch scale comes with accessories for the luke figure you get the cape which i already took off because this doesn't look good when he's in there uh lightsaber binoculars and bucket hat and the land speeder itself with pretty good details again guys like subscribe comment on this video i got a few more other things to open up not too many things uh from here on out this is going to be new stuff new waves that come out uh, I do got the new R2-D2 Sphero Joy, so I'm excited about going over that. Uh, Alright guys, have a great weekend. Again, like, watch, subscribe. See you guys.